To deem something means to view it as or think of it as, regard it as, um, to view it as. Some, a lot of times they say this was deemed a failure. You know, this startup company was deemed a failure, meaning most people, most experts, whatever, decided uh, this, this is a failure. That's how people view it. That's how people regard it. This example sentence says South Korea's first female president is now deemed a disappointment um, by many who voted for her. Not by everyone. Still there is Pak <laughs> <laughs> So not by everyone, but by many people, she is now deemed a disappointment. To deem, just viewed, regarded, thought of as. So a lot of times it's... it's um, a lot of times it's followed up with the word as, but not always, like in that sentence. Um, number two, to resonate. Um, this, again, if you just look at the definition, might seem a little bit similar to number one, to be received or understood. Um, when I used to hear the word resonate, I think of almost like an echo, right? So when something is resonating and it's going out, Fourth, usually like people are hearing some news or some fact in the example sentence they say an announcement people will hear that and it kind of shakes a little bit right it resonates it um, it hits home is an expression that some people uh, sometimes use it hits home with you it resonates with you meaning it's not just something that you hear and you immediately forget about Almost like you relate to it. You understand that. You really hear that news. It resonates throughout the community, right? You could maybe say something like that. And everyone in the community really understands that. And they believe that or they uh, can relate to that. It resonates with you. Um, he was sick because uh, you were telling the story that guy, the doctor was sick because of cancer, right? You know, so maybe if you recently had some experience with cancer, that story really resonates with you. Uh, uh, they use the word among, so a lot of times the, the word resonate might be followed up by the word among or with or something like that. Number three, oral tradition. I think most of you know the word tradition, just uh, the key word here more is oral, which means by mouth. Uh, oral medicine is something the dentist might give you to take some medicine in your mouth. So you, you're going to see the word oral used a lot in some type of doctor's office or something like that. Or orator, that so is without the L, an orator is kind of someone who does public speaking. Um, so it's talking about by mouth. Oral tradition is talking about sharing some stories, usually stories or some history through Spoken language. Um, obviously, this was very important in the early times of human civilization. These days, everything is kind of recorded and people don't talk to each other. We just text, right? So um, maybe oral tradition is something that is being lost and uh, not having as much of that. But still, of course, uh, we have some examples of that. Number four, venture. This word is really, I'm trying to think of an example when it's not used in some business related sense. It's, it's almost always, almost always used in some business related stuff. A lot of times it immediately follows the word business, business venture, um, a business enterprise or speculation in which something is risked in the hope of profit. It means like you're trying to start some business, some business idea, some business project. Um, this example sentence, Mr. Kim is known to embark on several business uh, ventures related to food. So he's trying to make some money. Maybe one of them is a restaurant. Maybe one of them is um, selling some pre-made food by mail delivery. You know, any business venture kind of means business, not just idea. An idea is just the idea, but business venture is more actually going out and trying to make it happen. Again, 
The next one, business endeavor. This is going to be quite related to number four, a purposeful or industrious business activity. Uh, example sentence, many Chinese entrepreneurs believe that it's unlucky to conduct business endeavors on Monday. So in, the difference between four and five venture is talking about business venture. It's giving off that idea of trying to mis- make a business or start a business. Not just the start of it, though. When I explain number four, it's not just the start. It's also a, a current business venture. You know, if I have a company that's working, that is a business venture for me. Five, business endeavor it's kind of just any business related activity, a meeting, um, a conference. Um, what else is there? <laughs> a meeting, a conference, business endeavor. Just going to work would, would kind of be a business endeavor. Um, but in our article, they said people think to conduct a new business endeavor on Friday is seen as a bad luck. Um, a business endeavor. It's going to be sometimes, sometimes it would be basically the same thing as number four, a business venture, but not always. Uh, it has a little bit of a different meaning. Number five, superstitious. Maybe you guys know this one. It's kind of difficult to describe with words, but yeah, you believe not just magic. The definition talks about magic, right? You believe something is true and it cannot be explained by reason. The, really, the best way to give this is examples. And I had one. There's so many superstitious things. In, in Korea, number four is kind of superstitiously an unlucky number, right? That's just superstition. Is there any real logic or fact to that that I'm not aware of. <laughs> I don't really think so. It's not ba- based on reason. It's just superstition. We have so many superstitions in, in America. Something... Oh, gosh. No. It's too hard to think of specific <laughs> examples, but there's many. Uh, number seven, getting on the action means they want to be part of it. They want to get in means part of it. Action can be anything. It can be a business. It can be some money is being made. It can just be some fun is happening. I want to get in on the action. I want to be part of that. Let's get in on the action before it starts to rain again. Here they are talking about getting in on the action. So a lot of times, like I said, it's going, if, not always, but a lot of times action is going to have some type of monetary money type thing. Let, uh, let me get in on that action. We can sell that together, not just you. I want to sell that with you. I want to be part of that. Let me get in on the action. So there were seven of them.